What up, my devil? Since I tuned in here with another video for you. So, this week, ETH, we're just going to go ahead, you know, it keeps being interesting week to week. So, we're just going to go ahead and do an Ethereum video again. Again, you know, maybe the, maybe the chart changes one week. But, uh, you know, so far, ETH is keeping us interested. And, and it's going exactly according to plan, as it usually does when you practice Elliott Wave and just let the theory guide you. And what do I mean by that? I'm letting the theory guide me with this truncation, not only on Ethereum, but on Bitcoin, right? And we talked about both these charts last week, so that's why I'm not really gonna talk that much about Bitcoin, at least beyond what we talked about last week. But let's just say that, you know, it, it, just to be very clear, truncations in fifth waves of impulses and in the final leg of a zigzag zigzag family style of correction are very rare they just are and i don't know anybody who's been following me let's say since i started sharing content when i you know first joined tdu as a sensei um the uh tradedevils.com that is and uh you, yeah, you, you probably have never seen me show a truncation on this far right on the chart and actually make financial decisions on it. And I've made several beneficial ones. And we'll get into that because we talked about a couple of traits here um, on the ETH chart. So we'll get over to that in a second. But let's just say it's it's very rare and you'll never see me do this. Now, further left on the chart, when you see it, you see it and, you know, move on. You know, unless, you know, when you're doing an academic exercises, sure, maybe you want to like give it a little more scrutiny. But, you know, if it's obvious, you know, way over here, way over here on the left, then I'll just go ahead and put it and not think too much about it over here. I, I do not do this without deep consideration of the context of everything going into it. And I think that any and I would not do it if I didn't think that any other count was far inferior from a from a from a theory got from a theory perspective and i think that the, the 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 strongest way to employ this theory in your trading and on your technical analysis is to let it guide you let the theory guide you and if you're always like you know this is what i hate to say it well i don't hate to say it because you know it, it, it makes a lot of people money this way but a lot of you like to swim up river whether it be trading against trends or just trying to force your freaking mindset into a chart like you know as opposed to just you know what's funny is like so many of you that are fighting counts like oh this is this isn't you know this, um, elliot wave is uh, this, this should be valid and it's not it's like yeah well if you just like chill and just you know just get in that lazy river and just float around down with the let the theory guide you you'll find the count there as opposed to just trying to bull bull knows your mind it bull knows your way and just dictate to the chart what what it is right so um that's why i did this in that case and it's been great so far um but you know so i just wanted to put that out there um you probably will never see me on such a hard right edge so this truncation again but what has happened since then we've had a swift three wave move and you know at during all of this what are the financial decisions that we were able to make based on that truncation? Well, we longed here, right? I, you know, I shared, shared that in the public video. We longed here. We exited here. Why? Because on this chart, the fifth of the fifth truncated. The truncation, the double truncation. And, you know, we saw this playing out in real time. Like, okay, why isn't this making a new high? Like, you know, at the time, I was probably only considering this move because I'm down there on the two minute with, you know, with my position, but I was able to get out damn near the high because of weakness. And at the time I wasn't thinking truncation. It was just like, oh shit, this is weak. And then you come back and you're like, oh, that's, yeah, this, this was weak. <laughs> this is why, you know, I don't know when you're really a low time frame. I don't know that I just didn't consider it truncation. I just, it's not, let's just put it this way. It's not the front of my mind. The, 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 the truncation is playing out in front of it, like real time. It never is and never will be uh, because it's so rare. Um, so, but then what happens directly after that? Swift retracement, deep retracement. Well, what do we know about truncations? That this is expected price action. Just let the theory come to us, man. And that's why, you know, I'm admittedly, unfortunately for me, I was off the charts most of the week. Um, 
from Wednesday on or so. I don't know. I can't remember. But, you know, I keep an eye, poke at it, look at it here or there. But unless I can sit down and actually give some real thought, I'm not going to take trades. Um, so I didn't get any of this. And this is the sort of thing that I like to catch. Like I told you guys, like when I was catching this last week and I said, don't necessarily do as I do. Um, do as I say, because you got you, you have to be comfortable being able to pick pivots before you can trade them. And if you it, the, the newer you are, you're better off giving yourself a window, right? Um, so we bought this down here as well. And I said in last week's video that it was likely a retracement. And what was I expecting? You know, probably a zigzag. But what we got, which makes a ton of sense, if you think about it, to, to make this even more swift of a downward move after the truncation, we got a sideways. Looks like we got a double three to me. So we got three, three, five. This is like an impulse, right? And where I got out on this trade that I took pretty much right at the bottom, like I told you guys last week, was, you know, because of the fact that I was concerned that it was a reactive move. When I see, you know, when I see a clear, a clear finish to a structure at that degree, I just want to be out, right? Because why not? <laughs> So, it, and it wasn't, you know, last week I was talking about, I did, you know, I hate doing this with you guys, but I was talking about, you know, the amount of profit that I was ex potentially expecting to make. And it was only a few hundred bucks. It was not very good, right? But that's, you know, that's trading. If I can win a few hundred bucks here and be, you know, not very right in my assessment, but right enough to make money, that's all I care about. So, but, you know, when I wasn't right about the potential, you know, getting up here to like a, at the time, it was like a 382 retracement of this move from here. Yeah. So or did, did we get there? No, we didn't get there. Right. So you almost did here, but it was shallow. And that's why you got to be careful in your trades. Um, I was correct that it was a corrective move. It just wasn't a zigzag. Usually they are. Right. Um so happy with that and you know potentially i would have i think i was even looking at this to get back in because a b c the same move i was talking about but you know based on the context i was like nah i'm not taking that no thanks although this night and all knives are not created equal this knife i would have probably caught but i didn't so i won't even really get into it right um just because i wasn't on the charts the question is now that we're on the hard right edge what do you do are you perma bear like, do you think toots counts shit? Um, you can short. In fact, there was a, you know, I would say you're late to the party and I like to catch pivots, but there's an algo play short here. We clearly have money on these, on these pools. Reaction 50, reaction 618, right? Golden corner pocket down. If you had, if you're short, just a normal, oops, that's a long to get your peepers on this short position if you're short here let's just say something like that to here i cannot fault you there is almost five to one as these usually are um <laughs> there are way worse trades right so you know what do you have going for you well if we zoom all the way out here we're in a downtrend you're following the trend um let's get back down here um, you have, obviously you have, let's see now we would have to walk it down and from an algo perspective, which I don't really want to do right now, but you probably don't, this is not probably the, there's probably no activity prior to this that would suggest that this is your next entry. So there is that, um, but you know, and you have this very swift move from the high, you know, maybe you want to call it an impulse. I mean, Te technically, you could, you know, if you're, you know, I don't necessarily agree with you, but if you're calling this an impulse, one, and then this is two, you know, I don't fault you. And if you're calling this a zigzag, maybe something like this. Can't hate on you for that. I really can. If you want to take that risk, that's fine. And I would, you know, again, if I had been seeing watching this right here, I would have shorted that for sure. Um, even though it's counter to what I expect, which is what I see on the chart, right? So I believe we have a one, two, three, four, five 
you know, I'm thinking it could continue on and without external retracement and get, you know, a little more complexity in the impulsive move. But, you know, I don't think this is a zigzag. But it could be. I mean... Pretty short to see if it is. <clears throat> you know, and the move off the high here seems more corrective. Maybe we're in a sideways style, something. But, you know, if I was short, I'd be happy to hold it and keep an eye on it. Now, I've, since I'm not short, although I, you know, I don't know how tentative I'll be to the market this weekend, I'll be looking to see what it looks like coming down. And using my ability with the theory to determine, do I think this is corrective? And if it is, then I'm going to take a long. So that's where I'm at from my trading perspective. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to the public now about my trading, um, about how I think about trades. And I typically don't do that just because I want to reserve that for the members. But it's one video a week. So um, and these are getting decent response. Not the best, but uh, so as long as that keeps up, you can throw a like on it, you know, throw a comment. Let me know you appreciate it. You know, maybe I'll keep these up. But uh, if if interest dies out, then mine will as well. Let's put it that way. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And, you know, this count unchanged, followed expectation perfectly. And, you know, now I can trade on the right hard right edge in um continuing to consider this context in this in this way um you know there's there's never well i shouldn't say never there are times when you get really high degrees of certainty um but things are not ne usually never ideal right so and they aren't here but uh this was a nice short if you took it um you know there's a potential that i may chase to a certain degree here but nothing stands out um and then if you want to take this long so you know, those two trades till next week should hold you over. All right, boys, that's it for this week. Toot out.